A close friend of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle has accused the royal family of creating a scandal. Omid Scobie suggests that the Crown does not need the artistic license advocated by critics. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's unofficial biographer has accused the royal family of causing a scandal. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Omid Scobie made controversial claims in an article he wrote for Yahoo last year. On Thursday, he re-shared the quote on X, formerly known as Twitter. This article is a response to critics of the Crown who claim that the show distorts reality in entertainment. Omid suggests that the Crown creator Peter Morgan doesn't get all the credit for the show's incredible stories. He wrote, it would be silly to think of, the Crown as a historical documentary. But most of the show's scandals lie within the royal family, not in Peter Morgan's writer's room, and they have no one to blame for it but themselves. The new series tells the story of the tragic death of Princess Diana. The Netflix series, which purports to be a historical drama, has long been criticized for its depiction of the royal family. One notable critic is Judy Dench, who won an Oscar for her portrayal of Queen Elizabeth I in Shakespeare in Love. In a letter to the Times of London last year, the actor criticized elements of the drama as grossly unfair to individuals and damaging to the institutions they represent. He requested that each episode contain a disclaimer classifying it as fiction. This is a call that Netflix has heard before and continues to resist, presenting the series as a drama inspired by historical events. This criticism is sure to be repeated once Taj season 6 begins. The new series tells the story of the tragic death of Diana, Princess of Wales. Viewers have already weighed in on the show's decision to once again tackle sensitive territory, and it's not a good thing. Asked if Prince Harry, who has a production deal with Netflix, should talk about the new trailer for The Crown, Fitzwilliams said, I don't think Sussex would do that and there's always the counter-argument that making a statement would attract more attention. William clearly has a tendency to keep quiet. In theory you could make a statement, but it's not. The thing is, if you're the king and you're making a statement, you're going to get x million extra hits on that scene. When asked if the Prince of Wales would watch The Crown, Fitzwilliams said, he might, but I'm sure he won't. I'm sure he'll never admit he saw it. It's a risky business because the moment the royals announce it, millions of people will see what all the fuss is about. Peter Morgan has been interviewed several times about whether he is a Republican or a Royalist, his views on the royal family and what he thinks of the Queen. Most are very superficial. Mix it up a bit. The Crown has been very successful financially. He can do whatever he wants and say whatever he wants. But that's not right, 